What's good, guys? You're welcome to the link up on Echo Room. And of course, um, my guest today is the most popular son of a teacher in the whole world. <laughs> and if I say that, I think you have an idea already. He's one of my favorite artists as well. Um, not just as an artist, as a human being, as a person. It's just a bloody vibe every single time. Ladies and gentlemen, Small Doctor. It's going. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lo. My G, wow, how man. you doing, bro? I'm all right, my brother. It's nice to finally see you after. When was the last time I saw you, Seth? Uh, that day we were sharing money. That's not true. <laughs> Aside from the money that you dashed me today. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's he called? Uh, To think about where to start. There's so much to talk about. Yes, one of the pressing conversations for me is I feel like in as much as you've done so much, a lot of people still don't know about it. I'm referring to your yearly concert, the Omo Better concert that you do okay. uh, in Agege, okay. at Agege Stadium. Okay. Now, um, I've had to consistently discuss and defend it. Okay. And it's weird because it's contrast to the experience of the concert itself. Okay. Uh, I'm defending this with some certain people. Okay. And I'm looking at the concert itself and I'm seeing 60 trillion billion people okay. in one space, okay. right? What do you think is the reason why not everybody knows the concert? Okay, um, one thing is, yeah, um, there's nothing you do that uh, probably everybody will know about to start with. There's no matter how popular you are, you know, there's still some people that don't even or never heard about you, or mm. even does not know how you look like, you mm. get me? And the second thing is, yeah, there are some people that they just feel like, okay, um, because um, it's not a person, or um, uh, they just need to feel some type of force for them to um, reckon with the movement. Do you understand what I'm saying? They've seen the first edition, the second edition, the third edition. Um, some people, because they're not a person, their person is they feel is the fluke. You get so they probably or definitely know about the concert of our I've heard about the concert, but they just shine away from it like they don't want to accept because maybe their person or their I don't know how to put it as maybe or as tried or is trying to pull the same thing and uh, the person is not getting that same result, so they just you know. Who are you? Who yeah. are you referring? Is it whiskey DFC you are referring to? Have you... No, 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 no. Ah, literally, sorry, no, sorry. Literally. <laughs> no. I'm just asking. no, no. Literally, yeah. No, shout out to everybody. Every artist really pull out. Um, what's it called? Um, um, energy into their craft, and I believe uh, it is worth being celebrated regardless. You get me, yeah. Mm. Is it the first concert recorded like 20,000 people? I was going to go there. Okay. That was my next angle. Um, I'm sorry for cutting you. Uh, first, second, third. Okay. Right? Feel to the brim. In short, it gets worse by each edition. Sorry, not worse. It gets it's better, better exactly. actually by yeah. each edition. But the 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 special part for me is this. The stands are filled, right? And then the floor is filled. Okay. Now, ideally, they calculate via stand okay. and capacity for the floor and all of that stuff. Okay. And as far as I know, the Eco Hotel place takes about, according to what information they gave me for the two sides, if you're taking two spots as a Eco Hotel, not the full space, about 6,000 people thereabouts or something. But you're doing over 20,000. So first things first, give us the statistics about the attendance okay um 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 the record is there and uh, maybe from the um ticket agents ticketing agency and from whoever they can just get a fax from get it so um uh the stance for the Adegi stadium is like maybe like six thousand yeah i think maybe six thousand or something but in terms of but ticketing how much tickets do you sell how many people attend your show? Yeah, the, res the, 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 the results are coming from the ticket scene agency. It's not, that I'm, counting, it's not that I'm counting them one, two, three. Yes, it's, sir. oh, the tags we gave out is 20,000. The tags we gave out is 22,000. The tags we brought is 23,000. How many that people for last year? 
Uh, what? The last one. The last about, one, yes. like 28,000. 28,000. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that, bro. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> and you do this every single year. Yeah, this sh the next one should have been the fifth one, but because yeah. of Corona, it's all. Yes. They halted everything. Would that be would that be the concert this year? Definitely by God's grace. Definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, other than that, you as an artist, you have consistently told your story, which has inspired a lot of people um to this day. But for the benefit of, you know, new viewers and all of that stuff, I'd like us to I'd like us to touch on that from the onset. I mean, you popularly I'm, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher, you know, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Your mom is a teacher, basically. But I'd like you to give us a summary of your background. Okay, um, my name is Atim Tapolo Adekunle. Um, son of a teacher mother and an engineering father. Yeah, so That's what I've never heard. Yeah. You never seem to mention your dad. Because my dad is, um, how am I to put it, like, even my mom is never want to be out there. She's never, she... She has never wanted to be out there. You but she it. is now. But she is, yeah. <laughs> because it's just, I just jokingly, I just said, hey, me, I was playing one that I, in my mother's teacher, and I just put in a song, and it's blue. Even till tomorrow, my mom says, shy is away, like, Tani, mm, Tani, ah, we don't try you. Like, she, people's talking about small she, ah, yeah, that John is trying, ah, that guy is trying, Danny. So she just <laughs> shies away. <laughs> So um, I'm the only son of my parents. I have an oh, wow. elder sister, mm. and that's that about that. <laughs> why don't you all? Why? I mean, yes, you put it in the song. You blew up, so you're also reckoning with that, regardless. That's right. But yeah. you don't mention your dad at all. Why? I don't think my. I never wanted to mention my mom. In the Was first it intentional? Place. It wasn't intentional mentioning my mom. So because it blew up, I just felt like, oh, it's now um, um, a force to reckon with. So let me just go by the rules and that's it. It gets me. So, and my dad is, you know, all of these very educated people that they just feel like, okay, let me just do my thing. Let me support you. I'll do my thing. And I don't think I need to be in your business. And I don't think you need to be in my business rather than supporting ourselves. So that's the kind of father. I, and I, did I, they support you right from the onset of making music? <laughs> Yeah, um, um, the, um, based on uh, my background, um, I don't think the support ever came like that because my address is like a very strict person. My mom is a very strict person as well. But my dad is, you know, he just said like, definitely he's gonna become a man someday. So he just learn from me and this, 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 that, that, that. So, you know, so my mom, I've been going to shows, trying to underground, going to several places. So my mom just felt like, okay, what is this thing that you want to be doing? Because in my background, yeah, um, eighty percent of my family are artists, but gospel artists to be precise, and the superstars in the gospel world, you get me. So, so they just feel like, oh, Tim Tokpelua, Big Daddy, you should be doing gospel as well as a church boy. Like you should be going, you should be good and uh, be doing gospel as uh, as well as a church boy. But you know, it is what it is. I'm finding myself saying, I, I, <laughs> you say, I find myself. <laughs> if you don't find yourself, you made the decision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you told him, my day, could shall I do That's very, where head go, ish. Let go, let go, can I reach there? Yeah, but you see, the story where you tell me now, the way you paint this picture, not be yeah. the picture where I get for my head. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Because at some point, I mean, I have a mental note for the, I call them Osanley artists. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> and you are supposed to be one of the Osanley artists according to the story that I know. Supposed to. Yeah. I am actually. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My point exactly. So I am actually. You left home, no? Okay, I left home when I was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um and um firstly I went to Oshodi on the bridge. There's one place we call 36 Kineo. I stayed there for like four or five years. From there I went to Eko Idumata. From there I went to Mushi Sonda for several years. So back to Agege and and Agege I was <clears throat> doing the milner jobs, selling like what? Sachets, what type of jobs? Sachets, water, riding bikes, doing bus conductors, 
carrying crates of bottles at Ashadi Market, you know. So doing all of those menial jobs to just, you know, find a way for myself. And the story started from my tender age and you know, I've been singing since I can't even say, oh, small, when did he start singing? I don't know. But professionally, I started 2001. That was my first single. Yeah, that was, that time I was um, in Agege. I was back in Agege then. So my first single was 2001. And the story started in there professionally. My, my brother. First single. So basically, essentially, you're telling me that you've been singing earlier than half, earlier than 80% of the people in the industry now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the thing is, yeah, being a church boy, I just feel like that thing is is inbuilt. Yeah, singing is inbuilt. And um, because everybody around me sings, my other brother, Remile Kumimos, all of these people, Lekon Remile Kum, Olola Peters, um, uh, Auntie Esther, all of these people, they sing. So I see it like a normal way of living, singing. A normal way of living so i saw like okay it's just a normal i never knew okay people could feed off singing so i just started singing in churches from here to year oh big daddy come and sing for us in our um, so from here to there so that's how it started so now um you made music where it was when it was illegal for people to make music exactly, in their house exactly exactly so <laughs> so that's, right? that's so that leads to me living home mm. Right. Now, you made music when it was illegal for kids to make music in their home. Yeah. Right? Well, almost illegal. And now you have a lot of the young artists and young boys and young kids. I'm having conversations with them. And the conversation is different because I used to interview a lot of people and I say, oh, how was it you making music in your home? Were you supported? And that time, everybody would say, hell no. Everybody, they wanted you to be a lawyer, doctor, and all those Definitely. things. Definitely. Now these kids are saying, oh, yeah, my father and my mother are very they supportive. They wanted me to be an aeronautic engineer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fly plane now. <laughs> it's just business class. <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, what's it called? Now, these kids, what do you think is different? What do you think has changed? Uh, the thing is, yeah, um... um Definitely, um, our fathers and mothers are seeing the screen now and they can just see a lot of artists popping up and they even vibe to their songs. So they feel like, oh, it's something of joy. If I, I have, I've seen several young artists that, that even their parents will set up a studio for them in their house and, you know, want them to just do music by fire, by force. So... You don't I, think parents are more supportive because of the amount of money that's inside music now? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you know about that to make it talk. Obviously, <laughs> so it's all about the money. Definitely, why we? It's all about the money. But the difference is, back then the money wasn't visible and it wasn't coming. Okay, the day of promo CDs, going to AP and Agege to buy promo CD for fourteen era, use Maka, write the track, go to one cyber cafe, give them, give them a song, they help you transfer your um, the song to that CD, take it, go to show. Along, you going to show yourself, the CD fee break for your pocket. You understand? So that means you know if you perform for that show. So several occurrences, bro. So we just thank God. What's the worst life. one you faced as a budding artist? Uh, uh, um, one incident that you remember. Okay, the thing is here, yeah, um, I went to AP as usual to buy an empty CD. So that time I sang one song, it was titled... Emma Kona Mommy. Emma Kona Mommy, you. If you see me, no, Lira Mommy, you. I did say that for you. I won't be no really. So I saw an elder brother that I hold back then. He knows me as a bike rider as usual. So I now give him, I said, ah, hey, boy, let me listen to this song. Let me listen to this song. Like, I want to know your take about it. And he has a babbing salon, like, hey, boy, I beg, they help me the plan for. Your salon, you know, because uh, it was one of um, the most um, um, visited salons back then that boys do go to call their hair. Was that? Agege or Mushi? Agege, Agege, in Agege. Okay. I beg, they me plan for your salon. You know, back then, he knows me as a bike rider now because when I see my bike, I carry go in shop. That, that. Because you so, were a bike rider at that time? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So 
And I give him right in front of me. He just charged my seat and like, whoa, which of them I go car die. You should only you should know. You know, like better go be riding your bike, like your music is not even. What's the what's the guy's name? <laughs> I like names. So <laughs> I mean sorry, the reason why I like names, Whiskey, Solo. <laughs> even solo say, yeah, no go blow. Even solo tell me say, I no go blow. Yeah, so we need to know your own guy's name. <laughs> just what's his name? I've never even mentioned his name in any interview. I just feel this like this will yeah. be the first time. No, no, you I don't have to call it full name or call. <laughs> you can call the name of the barber salon. Something <laughs> where we go feel remember the guys. <laughs> no, I mean I just live with the waka and waka. So, so, uh, I felt so humiliated to be sincere, but. Something just, you know, ah, small, kilo share, go start back and come and lodge you. I, I, till tomorrow, I can't tell where that voice came from, you know. I just started my bike and, you know, I just went to Pensino and I just, Keja, 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 two passengers, I just carried two passengers and I started my house, you know. Ah, that spirit till tomorrow, I can't even say because me, I was meant to be broken, trust me, because, you know, that day, I just, I don't go lie, I don't just know where the spirits come from. I just, I just go carry my own passenger, face the cage straight, you know, all of these things. I go to carry passenger, they go, they sing, I go to carry passenger, they go sing, say the miracle happened. What was the miracle? Okay, the miracle is, shout out to DJ Ru, shout out to DJ Ru. God bless you, my brother. So, um, I do carry him from, you know, Okay, he knows him as a bike man that sings as well. So he was now using the opportunity, okay, I should carry him to Alaba. You know, he, For he, free. Goes, he goes to Alaba to deliver, uh, what's it called? Mix. Mix, yeah, yeah. Definitely for free. But sometimes he do just tip me like, oh, feel it right, oh, feel it, you know. You know, and I was doing all of that because for him to just include my songs in all of his, some of his mixtapes, yeah. So the journey started from there. So one day I was just singing on bikes. I was kind of, ah, when I was ah, wow. When I dropped him on another bridge, he was going to come down. Ah, when I drove the man, money call, can I go, can I go? Ah, show me phone. Yeah, I go, I just brought up my Nokia. Yeah, yeah, but no, but yeah, I cook with me. You know, I just felt like maybe it's just one of those people that just want to feel. I just felt like, oh, it's fine. So later I just called him. Ah, I go, you mean, ah, you mean, ah. I mean, I'm not going to be in the book, in the book, ah, ah, I mean, yeah, well, okay, because that what they call me then, because <laughs> my bike is always neat. And Wait, mean, you were called? Yeah, well, okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because, yeah, um, in my hood then, there was some boys, hustling boys that, you know, they just like my vibe and all of those things. So people just feel like, he lee, he could be rumor. I want set to buy a little one, I want you buy a little one, so... Wait, <laughs> wait. Um, you're not going to speed past that. I'm sorry. Before they come say I don't cause trouble now, <laughs> I'm just going to ask. Okay. Which kind of people you they carry that time? So set of fine boys in my area. Fine boys? Yeah. We, they be banker. I don't think that's important. I just know they're fine boys and they live in my hood. You don't care? Am I, am I supposed to? No, but were you segregating the type of people you picked up? No, because... Picking them up and dropping them off for a journey of maybe one thousand or two one five, they may just say, Oh, small fish up for one motor, maybe like five thousand, six thousand. And I said, like, so what's the need of carrying those around? people who go pay regular price? price you know, so let me carry the big boys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh look at yeah, oh, look at that. So oh yeah, oh yeah, I go. So from there it took me to May gentle rest in gentle so rest in peace, Roscoe Phillips. Yeah, that man had it so much interest in me. Oh, was so painful. Death took him away. He had so much interest in me. Like, okay, this is how you do it. He was the first person that made me know what is rebranding. He mm. rebranded me. Do it like this. We do it like this. We do it like this. Do it like this. And that's how the journey started. So from there, I met another person, from one person to another person. I met Aladia Romire, may so rest in peace. From there, several people that has contributed one way or the other to my life and they made me who I am today. Hmm, that's deep, that's deep. Now, 
certain artists that were present in a certain generation, I asked them questions about moving into, uh, switching from this part of the year into another part of another year because Afrobeat keeps, uh, 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 we've gone to a point where Afrobeat keeps morphing into something different at the same, uh, at different points in time. At some point, within three years, it took like four different forms yes. and we're still here today. So are you. But in your case, the type of music you were making initially was what? Um, to be sincere, to be fair, I don't think I ever classified it to under any, um, uh, what's it called, junior or whatever. Because I just feel like, you see, Small Doctor is just doing his thing and it's working for him. So he kept hitting that same spot till he made him who he is today. You know, but so where at I'm some going, point, okay, sorry. So at some point, I felt like, okay, you can't keep doing the same thing. Myself, my managers, my team, we sat down. To be fair, I was scared. But shout out to my man, Genesis Global. He said, What is killing most people in the psalm on that day? He said, What is killing most people is fear of the unknown. Like, what if I do this thing? How will it turn out? What will happen? What if I fail? And I said something to end this time. I said, what if you succeed? I just said, you know what? Yeah, let's do the switch. We did the switch. We did penalty. <laughs> <laughs> and bam, it happened. <laughs> After penalty, this year, my people, everyone, bam, bam. Okay. What's up? Then I just called me the Baba. Let's do, let's do a switch. To what? He said, our piano. Okay. Bam! I did man the man. I was performing man the man. They called me myself and shout out to David. They called myself and David to a wedding. I was performing man the man. He just came, small, have her. I beg, I want to do this song. I like this song. And that was, the, I think that was the second day I released this song. I like this song. Let's do a remix of this song. You don't drop them. I say, let's do a remix. Let's do a remix of this song. I beg, I beg, take, call me, I beg, make you do this, I beg. I that's, call, Dave, that's what David O said. That was David O said. We vibed, that. he said, I be make go do them this night. And I had a gig. I said, no, ah, I'm on my get work this night. So yeah, now, tomorrow, go, where you go do? Where you go do? Uh, Is that your impression of David O? <laughs> so I, 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 I try, I try, I like me making him. Ah, oh, but where you go do? Yana, I just called him. Yana, you don't do de- we had a come, I go sign. David sent code of his house to me four times. Because to be fair, I was like, he said, he me DM me again, send me another code. Say, down, don't inspire. Take this one. Now, one on one hour. Imagine from my house to his house, I spent maybe like three hours. He sent like four codes to me. When he came, I arrived at his house around maybe past one or two. Uh-huh. Yeah, park your car. Where your boys? Make them day. Make everybody day. Like in the next one, uh, small. Make we go beach. Ah. Now record. You say you want to record. You say video. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we went to the beach. The beach with that. We did, 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 did. did. Ah. Evening come. We see go chop. Night go. Ah. <laughs> that guy is a is a is a is a is a special being. God bless you, David. I appreciate you, my brother. So, along the line, ah, I was like, ah, oh, mo. what's he wants up like this? I don't think say David go do this, you know. Can you go, can you go? I might be sitting down. Maybe I was, I'm, a, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on call with maybe someone. Maybe. Small, how far? Make I know, like, you know why I talk? Say, make it come for 12. Can you go, can you go? I want to see you. I want to see you like this. So, if you want to record down, go just record. I want to see you like this. <laughs> <laughs> David, if you just give me time, where I go come? He say no. Make, you see, he say I plan on this worker. No, nah. Lati, make we go. Hey, <laughs> Baba. I will tell you from 11 p.m. till morning. We went to like four clubs. Bro, I was dead ass tired. <laughs> because it's not my thing. Yes, yeah? small doctor, it's not my thing going to clubs. I just feel like me. I just like my space a lot. My house is my club with my guys, my pets. My studio or 
you know, I just call one of my, my guys that we did um, um, charity together. Let's just play. That's what I like. He get, went to like four clubs. Okay. At 5 a.m., I just, David was like, David, how far? I don't tire. Ha! You don't tire? I don't think they make me go, bro. If I come on here, <laughs> go another club. You won't carry. I go call my mama for you. What is it? Where are now? Where are now? You just called. Uh, just make you move. You can't reach out. <laughs> and that's how they come begin. To be fair, I felt like, don't worry. If if the prophet told me, you know what? This is thing. You guys will see the record today. I'll be like, I'll okay, go to play boy. You're waiting at the record. This guy go don't tire. Bro. David went into his room. Uh, I was in the living room. He went to his room. Maybe like 30 minutes. Just came back. Ah, small. I don't forget. They go studio. They go studio. I went upstairs. It made a I mean, I can't go to studio. I went upstairs. Okay, he told the producer, he instructed him on what to do. We sent the song to him. We did this, we did that. Okay, they put it on his system. We're waiting for David. I'm like, David, you don't forget sleep, go. Even the guys that are there say, ah, come on. David, you don't go sleep. Oh. Sorry. So, I was just, I don't know what I was doing. I was like, I just saw a tap. Oh, better. Oh, yeah. He just sat on his chair. Oh, yeah. With that song, hey. Not you, yeah. With that song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you go, can you? So the vibe started. Until David was done recording, I couldn't believe he was recording. To be fair. <laughs> I couldn't, I did not believe David was recording. I was like, ah. David, small. You, you know, street. Give me street talk. So I'm going to talk for this thing. We are drum. You know, the thing I respect about him is, he just wants ideas from everybody. That's why he just keep saying, keep winning. Like, you guys, give me give make a year. He will listen to it. Like, if it works, just, he takes if it. If it works, it, yeah. If, he, he, just if takes, it doesn't, yeah, he doesn't readjust. feel like he doesn't feel like it's me, David. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if that makes sense. He doesn't feel like it's me, David. He just does his thing and he keeps moving like that. So, man, the man happened. We did a switch and we got calls from different places. They were like, ah, I like this style of you. I did this. We never believed you could put this through and all of these things. And that was what happened. So me, I just believe like me. My mama do say, if you fail to plan, you definitely plan to fail. And if you, if you don't program yourself, life will program you. So I just believe that's, that's been my statistic since my day one. Even while I was doing bus conductor, Osho, the Tosongo, all of those things, you know. Me, you just you feel like... You do conductor, you do Okada. Bro, what did I not do? <laughs> I do interstate. What did I not do? What did I not do? Just name one job. Make I tell you. If I not drunk, I'll tell you I not drunk. <laughs> organizer. <laughs> I know, I know the organizer, but I don't follow them. Stay for monitor for organizing equipment. One man bought... For, okay, there's one man I, I do buy. He go buy for organizing. He go bring one boy from village. He go train and for organizing. You understand? So go buy machine for them. So now I mean they inspect them. Oh, I go collect deliver money every day. So what's I no do? Kill me, Moshe Moshe Telo. Hmm. Ah ah. We go Moshe Telo. Marie Lo won't say say. My tio go. My own show. My. What's I no do? Now only address I no do. Where I know that I no do. Address. Bro, I see do piercing at some of the pierce I saw people that time. Shout out to Terji. So in piercing the rain that time, I would just carry eyes. Carry piercing eye. You don't even want piercing. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do any? But I did. But the forest part is here. Yeah, I could do it perfectly back then. Yeah, I, I had. No, no, you go blind person. No. Alora, Alora, me. Look, okay. Moving forward from there. Um. As an artist, you haven't been releasing as much as you previously used to okay, yeah. in terms of music. Yeah. Why is that? Okay. Because, um, sorry, okay. the reason I'm asking is this. The industry is a lot more competitive. Definitely. And being the fact that you've been able to stand the test of time for that long, why haven't you been putting out as much music as you used to back in the day? Okay, the thing is, yeah, you know, in life, there's just some things you just feel like, okay, 
let me just sit down let me look how this thing is going it's not like you're not doing nothing at all you are doing so many but i just feel like okay what's happening i've been around for like a decade now oh the decade can it pass so <laughs> a small doctor just feel like okay you know what relax a little bit yeah just relax a little bit Competition is fine because the, but the thing is here Bro, I'm the laughing. No worry, I'm the one better. Nobody can take that space. If a small doctor, a small doctor, hundred percent. What space is that? Okay, king yes. of the street space. I'm not a king. I'm the laughing. You understand? And laughing is a self-acclaimed position. Yes. That so many people has come to try and shake. I just feel like you know this one here. Just leave that space for him. Would it be the space? The space is spiritual, bro. And it's very physical as well. Um, being the alafin of what? See, you see the omobeta um, is being the alafin of what? of every corner, bro. You see the omobeta um, is present. It's not just a mere saying. The omobeta um, is present is actually a real word, like a real word, like a very strong thing. Omobeta um, is always present, bro. Shout out to my colleagues, shout out to Remini, shout out to Lamide, shout out to Serike, shout out to everybody doing the street music, man. Exactly. So that takes me to the conversation about the title, King of the Streets, Ballet of the Area, and co, and so on and so forth. Everybody's King of the Street. In short, um, uh, 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 Olamide, also King of the Streets at some point. Uh, who else? It's not at some point. Olamide is still a king, and he remains. No, no, a king. no, definitely, definitely. Olamide, Olamide is a king. Remini is a king. He remains a king. Reminisce as well, king. You know, Yoruba will tell Seriki, you. Seriki, shout you know, out to Seriki. You know, Yoruba, Yoruba, Yoruba man will tell you. Oru kato ba wamo, lonjele yodi. Any name you like, if you call yourself. But the question remains: Can you prove it? Now, this part brings me to. The conversation of towing the line on uh, uh, the king of the streets accolade and how people have been able to back it up. There's been Da Green, definitely. There's Olamide, yeah. definitely. There's Reminis, definitely. There's Seriki as well, definitely. A lot of Ajasa self, definitely. Let's not, it's not about taking into account that they are rapping or whatever. There's you, definitely. But now, portable. Claims to be the actual king of the streets at the moment. What do you have to say about that? Does he told that line as well? Because you mentioned all these people and didn't mention him. Okay, the thing is, yeah, is what we call self acclaimed. And there are so many things that people will, will say on your behalf. You don't need to prove any point. Right, so him saying if he, 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 he is the king of the streets, definitely he is. If he he is? is. If he says he is, okay. Yeah, if you say you are Quincy, definitely you are Quincy. But are you really Quincy? Huh? Is that is, so? Are you indirectly saying that he's not? I never said. And he's only not. title they give himself. No, listen, everybody in a title they give ourselves. And now, but you get people where they give themselves that to where they stamp. Well, that means the, that person where they stamp stood the test of time. So you're saying he needs to stand the test of time? Everybody will stand the test of time. If you are if you are gallant enough to stand it, definitely it will be stamped. Mm. Without you saying nothing, people will do that on your behalf. Okay. I, That's one. The last part I want to touch on. Because this is also important. While the whole argument, in short, it was the original part one of this 5%, while the whole argument of Portable and um, and Kubagidi and Pokoli and all of that stuff was happening, your name got called in between the mix. Okay. Uh, um, I stand to be corrected, but I believe that he said, you told him to, you're one of the people that told him to leave Kubagidi. Okay. And... The, that uh, the, he was being ripped off of all the possible income that was supposed to be coming directly to him and all of that. But he mentioned you. Okay. Was that true? 
All right. Um, the thing is, yeah, I was with Idris connecting Lagos one day, my guy, and a call came in from DJ Spirit. Like, oh, Baba. DJ Spirit was his, his DJ, DJ at the yeah. time, yes. So, Baba, small, ah, oh my, where so what do Who is that portable? He called me on a video call. Ah, Baba, I don't know what to Ah, Zazuni, I don't know Unknowing to me, they were recording the video call. So someone was behind him recording the video call. So, and I said, okay, today's Friday, I have work tomorrow, Sunday. Okay, you guys will come on Monday. Let's see what happens. So, they posted the um, video on their, on their page, and my manager saw it, and he messaged me like, oh, Baba, I saw it, and I feel like, can we support the boy with... This. And I said, okay, do whatever. And they posted it on Small Doctor's page. And it blew up. Everybody, every artist saw it. They were like, ah, who is this person that is not letting Small Doctor say a word? He's just saying different things from different angles. I've known Portable for God knows how many years. Right? He's been with me for God knows how many years. Tutti Boys brought him to a more better concert. Because of many years that, you know, I had to just say, come. You can't, don't do like that. You are a superstar. Don't be doing like it out. One day you see, don't be dressed normally, dress properly. The way you are dressed is the same way you be addressed. You get so, but you know there are so many things you tell some people, uh, but they don't have the capability to just, you know, to access what he said. You get me, yeah. So he was in my house. So they came on the on the Tuesday. Of that Monday. Then I said, ah, Baba, ah. So that means you met him before the feature with Olamide happened? Potable has been my boy. Potable has always been with me. So he has been my boy. Like, person with this day, with you, boy, go, go. Like, my guy. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, I, I, I do. I just told you he's been my concert. Like, For how long? Like, it was in my concert in 2018. Wow. 2019. I remember coming from Canada. It was so, so that part. Of it, so oh wow, he came with the spirit and um, again, again foreign. So oh wow, okay, fine. This that, that 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 okay. Moving on. That's a very good platform for you. All you have to do is be calm. Who took you there? He said okay, well, okay, be calm. Listen to them. Don't they, they, you don't know? You can't know road than these people. Just come, listen to what they say. Can you go? Okay. Two days after, he called me. Ah, I'm very. He came again. So I was like, ah, okay. Um, um, they said you should. Uh, what's it called? He told me they said you should. Okay. Now remember, he said they said you should sign one document. I said, what document is that? Have you have you set release date or so? He said he doesn't know nothing about the release date and all these things. Okay, fine. So right there, my DJ, DJ Diamond now brought my his phone to me. I was see you at work. Say for that song. And I said, ah, ah, she will let it drop on me. And I oh, it drop on me. And I should do that. I want to drop on you. Say, shout out to Pokoli. Pokoli featuring whatever on the line. We need to talk to you. Oh, no, no, no. Man, no, something's not right. It's supposed to be Pokoli. Featuring you and all day. supposed to be you featuring Pokoli and all day. And again, it's good for you because Pokoli's prestige, all day's prestige on one song, they will definitely shine do, on you. Shine on you. So they definitely do their possible best to make this song go as length as as far as possible. So I think you now complain that back to 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 them, you know. They made the, uh, what's it called? The correction. And it was how it was supposed to be. That was my last discussion about him. So what was he saying? What was he saying that? You know, the thing is, yeah. Um, if, if you talk too much, just find, at some point, you just find something, some irrelevant things to say. Because you are, you are, you are used to the cloud. Okay. Literally, why he called my name, it wasn't because of Google. Why he called my name was, he did one song, okay. One day I told him, you know what, yeah? You do, firstly, 
You have to do body wash. This your skin is not skinny. <laughs> I'm being real. You have to do body wash. Mm. So spirit was there. The girl was there. He said, ah, okay, okay. Fuck table ran away. I mean, she body wash you. I have a package and pay me. Oh, she, okay. It's fine. So he now came to me. I said, you know what, yeah? You've done one song. You need more songs. It's yeah. never enough. You need a music camp. He said, what is music camp? Okay. Music <sighs> camp is you. They get an apartment, invite producers, invite maybe music writers. You can't do it alone, bro. Okay. They collected the guinea. I called the producer, Shoka, for them. And they were in the studio. I did not arrive there at that apartment till like maybe 9 or 10 p.m. They've been doing rubbish this morning. What are you doing since? What are, ah, Baba, it was babbing his hair. But, bro, record. Do this, do that. So there's this song, Claire. I wrote that song, Claire. And afterwards, I said, Shoka, just play anything. Yeah, just, just some different vibe, just play anything. So he was playing something. So what if it was not freestyling that neighbor song? Like, okay, I think this is actually a nice one. Can you put it on this song? He said, how? Okay, you do it like this, you do it like this. Okay, all of these things, I started recording on my phone. All of these things, record it here. Yeah? So I'll be telling you the one to say after each other. So we did the song. Small Doctor was not in any of the songs. Mm. Because I decided not to. So I was not getting you know, he went inside with spirits. So now I came out. Ah, Baba. Was it now? Baba. You go, ah, hey, they should meet you for me now. Can I some play you are Nico Kony? Ah, Amy Mo Inja and Tralati deny me. Like, you can't do two songs for me and you, you don't want to be on any, like, uh, are you denying me or what? Whatever. I said, ah, Omo, I don't know what to do. What do you, what do you, so what is happening? What, okay, Baba, please let me be on this one. Can you go, can you go? Okay, me, I don't sing lewd lyrics. I don't do vulgar lyrics. Okay, so I tried all my possible best to just be myself on that song. And if we, okay, my, I was at the last 12 bars. It was a day or two days to the release. He called me, like, ah, Baba, hey, John, told ah, who near on your song? Well, hey, Joe, I be sorry. Can you come? Can Before they moved, I see how all of those, how they moved the song. They sent two versions, how they moved it. Shoka sent it to me. Before I sent it to him, moved it. So we now choose one. So one day, um, Unlimited Daily called me, like, it's more. After the release of the song, guys, it was blowing up like, ah, we'll find your video only. And you know, if a director calls you like that, you know, it won't be the normal actual price it's supposed to be. Like, some things to be it tried will, to call It would, would be very considerate. Okay, I now call Portable. Like, hey, Portable, we'll find your video only. Can you go, can you go? Hello, Loni. Oh, yeah, go to the store and come out. Me, how much do you have? He said, before you say anything, you know what? I will give you one million naira. Eh? Add money to it, I'm gonna pay the director. You know, you send maybe a manager or whoever, I'll put guys in contact, you talk to him, how much you want to collect, but don't worry, I'll support you with one million naira. The next thing he said, like, ah, Baba, I know they shoot video, ah, me and a clot that they use money by. Ah. Are you being serious right now? He said, me and a clot that they use money by, ah, ah okay, oh. no, I allow. So before I ended, because, ah, Baba, I said, you know, if you shoot the video for me. And I, I just did you hear what I said? I said I'm giving one million there. He said, "Hey, Baba, I shoot video for me. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, video for me alone. I shoot video for <laughs> <laughs> you know." And that was it. I just felt like, whoa, because to me, I just felt like it was it was kidding. I just felt like, whoa, oh, is this serious, Jerry? That's serious, go with me. I just ended the call. So I was sleeping. <laughs> ah, Baba, hey. Oh. This boy, they mention your nung, and I know we're going in a man. Now you, now you, the box out of every musician. Now you be boxer. Now you, this boy, they talk. But you know if you call your name, now you they talk. Can you can you I was sleeping. I just, I just, you send it to me. Send it to me. I like, oh.
To me, I never still believed it was me. Even to now, I don't believe it's me because uh, you know if you call a laughing name, oh, uh, they know the price bread though. <laughs> oh, not ready. You know, you know if you call them a better name now, say, hey, what do you, what will you say I did to you or whatever. So it wasn't even about the that was the, about the song. That was the part I played. Like, oh no, this is how it, the name should be, and that was it. So that's 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 it's a it's 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 a lot of. I can tell you that people don't know this part of the gist. Yeah, people, see, they are not supposed to know. If you are not asking me, people are not supposed to know because to me, I just feel like it's not even necessary. But you didn't even speak about it. It's not even necessary, bro. Why not? Cause someone because someone else is, is someone else is smearing, smearing your name. But it never, and it turns out to be someone that is, you but, know. But, but it never called, it's just assumptions out there, but it never called Omar Beta's name. So I don't think that should be a case. Who else in one day follow talk? But if you have called small doctor's name, that would be that is that okay, that would be the straight in small doctor you unveiling it. But he never did, he never dares to do such, man. Hmm. Now, let's put that away. After that, with the release of music, what has been your plan so far? Different plans. There are different plans. Okay. Small doctor has a song with Mr. Easy. Yes. He has a song with Bella Shimona. He has a song with Zlatan. We have, we've done so many recordings, bro. These are, these are people that are regular or regular people like you. These are people that are consistent at your concert. I mean, Mr. Easy was yeah, so, part of it. You see, so this year, don't worry. Small is just dropping features all through. The next one coming is Small and Mr. Easy. Afterwards, the manager will decide the next one and the next one, the project. Management, but now you things. get, now you be management. Now. now God be all of these things. Okay, the actual thing is, yeah, people don't know this thing. OIT doesn't mean I'm your teacher. OIT doesn't mean I'm your teacher. What does OIT mean? OIT means Oriented Intellectual Talent Dynasty. So that is the OIT dynasty. So it is not mine. It is not. But, I thought it was Omo, but, your teacher but, dynasty. But, yeah, the coincidence. So everybody I mean, thinks that. Yeah, or most people. Most people think. You no, know, like ninety eight percent of people think that. But to me, it is oriented intellectual talent dynasty. It's not mine. But because the person is 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 underground and you just feel like, well, oh, I'm back of the camera. So essentially, you're signed to somebody. Definitely. If you, and it, you're not the owner of the label. It's even a woman. <laughs> this interview should be called Shocker and not the producer. <laughs> Shocker, <laughs> Wow. So it's just like What's that. What's her so, name? Who is she? She's What's someone, her name? She's somebody. <laughs> and her name is her name, definitely. What's her name? <laughs> her name is her name. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, all right. Now, your next release. Definitely. Tell me about tell me about um the thought process behind it. <laughs> um shout out to Mr. Easy. That guy is another I would say he's my closest in the industry because Really? Yeah. Mr. Easy literally just tells me almost everything. It makes me just know almost everything. Yeah. Imagine we recorded the song in Ghana. We'd, we'd, we'd flew to Ghana maybe like Three times in four days. To and fro, to and fro, to and fro. That's Mr. Easy. That's very, it's a very unlikely mix. I won't even lie. I won't. It's not, you are who you are. And one thing a lot of people, what I feel a lot of people don't know is you're very, your acceptance of every culture possible or every placement possible, wherever you think you are, I don't care. Yeah, you are a person it's, and you're my friend. It's, and it's, that's it. It's a humanity before, but I, yeah. before anything. Before religion, before personality, before anything. It's human, you know, humanity comes first. But I didn't think Mr. Easy and yourself would be that close. We are so close. Like A and... Let me say A and C. After it's maybe A and C or A and D. So that's how it is. So, you know, there are some... That guy is just that guy. Don't worry. That guy is just that guy. The richest person I ever met. Who? Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy is the richest person you ever met. Yeah. Mr. Easy get money like that. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe my perception. My brother, tell me. It was your perception. 
that he has money. He's the rich, but you met David. No, no, no. Like he has, he's not even have money. Like he has resources. Yeah. Wait, mm 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 mm. Small wait. You say he's the richest person you ever met. Yeah. You have met David Doe. Yes. I call David the richest. I me. I they call the richest. If he has the richest, you know that's small doctor. Don't worry. Okay, David is richest, mm -hmm. but Easy is the richest person you've ever met. Yes. So are you trying to tell me that Easy is richer than David? I don't know. I know the I've been the bank manager. I know that. <laughs> 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 Hey, this one of the way they shout for you get money die. <laughs> <laughs> but, but to be fair, yeah, I think everybody's just doing so well in their field, mm. you know. But shout out to Easy, shout out to David, yeah. Ah, huh. interesting. All right, now, um, when are we getting the body of work? Because I feel like you've been cooking for so long. Something has to give we are kicking at off, this point. We are kicking off October. Mm. Yeah. First, second week of October, we are kicking off. We're never stopping again. Till the breath goes away. We're kicking off October on God. And it's big time. It's going. It's gone. Like said. <laughs> All right. Now, who are the people, if you are to put out a body of work, who are the people we are to expect? You're friends with tons of people in the industry. Yeah, I just named several artists. Like, we have a couple of them, don't worry. Bro, just expect the unexpected. So, so many things to just look out for. Trust me, my brother. You go joke. I can't wait. <laughs> I absolutely cannot wait. All right. Thank you so much, small doctor. My pleasure. I appreciate brother. your presence. And my guy, and I. Genuinely, I never talk this thing for this show. I promise you, watch every episode. I love you for real, man. I remember you. You know that. You could choke. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Watch out for live performance going up right now. Don't go anywhere. I work on everybody. I'm going to in the building. Small doctor. They love you. I'm going to be a teacher. We live here. Echo room, now so they think they go. It is echo for your ear, it is bank for your ear. Now so they think they go. Watch, like, and share, subscribe, and do everything doable to keep the echo banging. It is what it is, it's gone.